Hey guys, uh, before I wanted to actually show you the real life in the video thing, I wanted to let you guys know that I am perfectly okay now. It was super weird because this was only filmed three days ago, and I swear, right after I filmed that video, I don't know if it was because I just got everything off of my chest, or if I was like hearing my words and realizing that I'm really okay, or what it was, I don't know what it was, but it was like a click and I was just like, okay, like I don't have anxiety anymore. Mom and dad, if you're watching this, I'm okay and I didn't tell you just because I didn't want to bother you. You have other issues right now and I don't want you to think you're bad parents because of it because obviously if you knew something was wrong, you would have helped me. It's not your fault. Point of this video, like I say at the end, is that I'm okay now and even though I had that horrible moment caught on film, I'm okay now and I'm all good. So it's like, if anyone goes through anxiety, you'll be fine eventually. Even if it takes a while, maybe it won't take only three days like it did for me, but you will be fine eventually. I waited to post this video until I was sure that I felt confident enough in the fact that I do not feel anxious about that specific thing anymore. Just, I really need you guys to understand that I am okay and that everyone goes through stuff. That does not make me weak. I'm not saying I'm weak. I'm not saying I'm super strong. I'm just saying people go through stuff and uh, you'll be okay. I promise you. I love you guys. Please enjoy the video. Well, I don't know if I really want you to enjoy the video, but I want you to learn something from the video. Okay, guys, here it is. I'm really nervous about this, but I figured it's kind of an educational thing and I want you guys to learn. Here you go. Hey guys, um, I keep debating on whether to post this to even film it at all because it's screaming, I want attention, and I understand that. I would never fake something like this. Um, I low-key wish I was because then this wouldn't be real <coughs> and happening, um, in my brain. And before I get into it, I'll just flat out say it. I am having a, like, a low-key anxiety attack right now when I have anxiety attacks I feel like um I can't breathe I don't even know how to explain my how I'm acting right now you can probably tell it's like different than usual if I cough a lot it's basically like <coughs> me knowing that I'm breathing and getting air if that makes sense I don't know I wish I could explain it but I can't if you watched my last video you know I've been getting anxiety lately uh, this is usually something that happens in the winter time and it's still pretty cold here um I wouldn't say it's like seasonal depression maybe seasonal anxiety <coughs> if that's a thing I don't know but I feel like it is because I always get anxiety in the winter time since I was a kid my mom linked it to me never being able to go outside and like vitamin D in which I low-key agree with because it's happened ever since I'm a kid and I'm an adult now and I still get anxiety but mostly in the winter time my anxiety stems from me thinking that I'm sick like I have a disease. I don't really have social anxiety. I don't get anxiety over homework because I just do it and I get it done and it's not a big deal to me. But I get anxiety about this. I don't really like explaining it because like when I say it, it just flat out sounds like I'm not very bright. Like I don't have a brain or like something's mentally insane with me. But realize, you guys see me in my other videos. I am, I'm fine. Nothing's mentally wrong with me. It's anxiety and people get anxiety from all different things. This latest episode, I've had it for two weeks now. It started with my throat like right here hurting and it's like under my tongue. And so I looked up tongue pain and then something that came up was like tongue aneurysms or something i clicked on it and then that said that you could get tongue aneurysms or whatever from a disease called als now that's kind of a big deal to me because sophomore year of high school that was probably my last huge episode i thought i had als it was not from a throat reasoning or anything like that it was just basically i thought i had muscle weakness when i did not and i can look back and say i did not because i was fine for four years if i really had als i would be dead by now and als is a freaking scary disease because you it's basically a life sentence you have on average two years where your muscles deteriorate slowly but fast at the same time it's slowly because each day you're noticing changes but also it's fast because it's two years in you won't have any movement of any part of your body and then pretty soon you won't be able to use your lungs as a muscle and that is how you die so it started with that it was 
really scary to read up on that and be like, oh frick, this is going to be another episode. Even if I'm not dying from ALS, I'm going to have to go through this whole anxiety thing again. Like I knew right when I saw that. No matter what, no matter what I told myself, even though the age group is usually 40 to 50 year old men, even though there's barely ever been a case for a girl my age, I tell myself I have this and my body reacts in that way because it's called the placebo effect. I tell myself I have this, therefore my body reacts in such a way. So it started with right here, then I was focused on my swallowing, me talking, if I jumbled my words at all, if I uh, basically talked, like slurred my words and stuff like that. Um, that's like a first sign of it. Further on the line, I haven't really been worried about that. It's kind of moved down to like this arm slash hand. It feels weak. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably just the same. But I'm thinking about it, so therefore I think that it's actually like I'm dying. And now it's my legs. I legitimately, both legs feel sore. Both legs feel like they can't move. I can't explain it because the only thing that makes sense is my brain is, is that I have it. But like my my brain's like arguing with itself because like you know that I should stop, but I can't stop. I mean, obviously if I could stop, I just would. There's always something in the back of my brain saying, you know, this is wrong with you, and it's continuously getting worse each day. I'm saying tomorrow's gonna be worse, so I have to live in the moment. It's like me like physically like preparing for death at each twenty. I haven't told my parents. I can't tell anyone. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> My mind's like messed up. And even if I went to the doctor, like I'm not, it's not going to do anything. Because I'm not, I'm not going to believe them. Like no matter what. It's one of those things where it just has to click in my head. And even if a doctor like told me I'm fine and I don't have it, I, I'll just like think that they misdiagnosed me or something. And I don't want to tell my parents because to everyone else it just doesn't it doesn't seem real it just seems stupid I guess like that I've convinced myself I have this and I don't and it's not like I have bad parents but I just don't like telling anyone because it just it doesn't make sense even to me even in my head and like the process of making this video I'm thinking like I'll look back on this video when I'm actually like diagnosed with this disease and I'll be right that I actually have it that I won't seem stupid because in a year or two I'll be in a wheelchair and I'll have the disease and I knew it I don't want you guys to feel bad for me because I'm fine like I'm fine seriously it's just like I have random moments like this where like I freak myself out or um, I overthink but most of my time it's like it's like underlying and like I can still get through <laughs> My dog's fine. Come over here. Most of my time, it's like fine and like I can control myself because it's like I understand that it's all in my head, but sometimes it just like I just overthink and like I'm okay, guys. I don't want you guys to worry about me because I promise it's okay because this has happened before and I'm fine. I just, I, I guess I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, in the process of this video, I'm at a very low state right now, but next video I'm probably going to be fine and it's just showing that even when you have your lowest of lows, uh, you'll always be okay soon enough. So I'm just showing you guys that there are good and bad moments and even the bad, you'll be okay eventually. And so next video I'm going to be okay and you'll get through anything. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.